Two people attacked in as many months, and tonight a suspect is in jail. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Carl Tor. And I'm Amanda Taylor. Two scares at the Shawnee Post Office lead to an arrest today, right here in OKC. News 9's Matt McCabe is live in the newsroom with how the suspect's history helped make the connection. Matt? Carl and Amanda, the suspect Lenny Stalin was released two months ago from a 10 year prison sentence. Investigators say it was a tip about those crimes that connected him to the attacks at a Shawnee post office. A two month long streak of violence outside this Shawnee post office ended Wednesday with Lenny Stalin in jail. He committed a couple robberies and a fraud several years ago. I mean, he was in prison for 10 years and we received a tip that the suspect we were looking for matched that description and with the detectives following up and through investigation we were able to match him. An early February attack on Joel Wilson's wife first caught the attention of police. If it can happen to my wife, it can happen to your wife or your mother or your kids or even you. A second attack at the same post office happened earlier this month. Thanks to all the tips, we are thankful that he has finally been arrested and the detectives have worked hard to try to identify him and locate him and we hope that our residents or anybody coming to the post office feel safe when they come to get their mail. The U.S. Postal Inspection Service says it's glad Stalin has been caught and that it quote would remind anyone that prevention is the best crime strategy, including things like maintaining awareness of one's surroundings, parking in lighted areas and not displaying valuables like cash or jewelry. Shawnee police say before the attacks, this was a quiet street. The department expects no more trouble. The Shawnee Police Department says the security cameras inside the post office were not working. I asked the Postal Inspection Service to confirm that and if it plans to fix the cameras, but I was told the agency does not comment on security measures. In the newsroom, Matt McCabe, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.